how do I become a better speaker when debating? Is there some sort of advice I find myself having my words jumbled up all the time? Do you guys have a technique? I think I there do. the solu hmm? I have ideas. Go on. Well, okay, so surprise, surprise. This is embarrassing, but I was into the theater and middle school as a child. Um, so you learn a lot about public speaking and how to project your voice in theater. Um, and then I also took like public speaking classes and I was in debate, like as I got older. So um, one thing that helps is thinking about how far your voice has to carry. Um, so especially if you're not mic'd. So you want to think like, can the person at the back of the room hear, uh, hear me? Okay, so if I have to speak at this volume where the person at the back of this room can hear me, I need to make sure I'm also speaking clearly. I think so you're talking you about public speaking. This is about debate. Speaker when debating? No, this I feel like this still applies. Well, I one thing in terms of getting jumbled up all the time, when I'm speaking publicly, mm -hmm. I remind myself constantly to slow down what I'm saying. Because mm. no matter how much I slow down what I'm saying in real life, it sounds still like very fast. So, but to co consistently remind myself that helps me keep my pace and cadence in check so that I'm not tripping over myself as I'm trying to speak. Okay. Um, my advice would be to suck for a very long time uh, and just or be okay with being bad at it because you have to practice right like you, i think it takes practice and you're going to get better at it the more you do it and you have to be okay with not being good at it when you start and just say like you know what i'm going to do this for a while while not being while not doing very good and i shouldn't expect myself to do good because i just got started but the way to get better at it is to keep doing it right just don't yeah that's what I think it takes just if you keep doing it, it will naturally improve just because you're practicing it. Okay. So that's my advice. Hey guys, if you're a fan of blasphemy and sexy Callie, you know, like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter link in the description below, because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our blasphemous art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe link in the description below.